Hi, I am going to show you something nobody else will. I'm going to show you how to build a remote controlled lawnmower with onboard streaming video. This way you can control your lawnmower from inside your home, sitting on the couch, and then watching it live from your smart TV, smartphone, whatever you have. So be prepared. Sit back and relax and let me do Okay, so let's talk about building it. The um, first thing, of course, you're going to want to do is build the frame. Um, the frame that I built is uh, out of two inch angle iron. Um, I welded mine together. You can bolt them together if you wish, whatever, if you don't have a welder. Um, I made mine about 18 and a half inch wide by 41 inches long. After I've done that, the, one of the things I realized was that my mower deck, which is a 16 inch mower deck, uh, was uh, about 21 inches wide. So I don't think I quite got the coverage I needed. So you may want to take that into consideration. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is get an old mower deck and then uh, probably a 16 inch or something because you don't want something real big. That motor that I got isn't real strong. It's fine for a 16 inch. So anyway, after you get the mower deck, you're going to want to make sure that you build that frame a little bit narrower so that the deck sticks out pretty good. So you may have to adjust that. But anyway, mine was 18 and a half inches by 41 inches long. And uh, then on the back, I went ahead and used two inch angle iron also to uh, for the back end of the mower. Uh, and then drilled uh, two three quarter inch holes in there. And you can see I put in the, <clears throat> the threaded three quarter inch uh, rod in there. Now I've got regular tires on there now, but um, I actually bought, uh, ended up buying some tires with sprockets already on it. Um, I believe that was from Northern. You, you can check the parts list and see, but that's what I ended up using was some that already had sprockets attached to it. On the uh, front, <clears throat> I used the, uh, spit, the uh, swivel casters. Um, that's also on the parts list. Um, <clears throat> on the front, uh, on the front, you can, you might not be able to see, but I uh, put uh, one inch square uh, tubing on the front. Um, and I actually doubled that up. Uh, so there's actually uh, four pieces there on the front. Two on the very front, you know, and this is to bring the, the uh, height down. When I put the swivels on the first time when there was just one, uh, one inch square tubing on it, the swivels wouldn't turn. So I had to double up and put another row of uh, one inch square tubing to uh, bring it so that the swivels had room to, to uh, turn. <clears throat> On the uh, back, as you can see there, um, I put some, uh, I think that was also one inch square, uh, I'm sorry, one inch square uh, angle iron for the back. Uh, this is all to uh, hold up the back end when you, you'll see that later. And uh, also for a place to start building the uh, battery brackets. So then the uh, next thing <clears throat> that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place the deck underneath the uh, uh, frame that you've just built. This way you can go ahead and, and center it and uh, make sure that you can get the height uh, uh, brackets on there to uh, hold the more deck. Now in this picture here you can see I've got it under there. Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you can put a battery on either side of that. So you're going to definitely want to make sure to measure it out uh, to make sure there's room and then you're going to want to bring it up just a little bit. I think I put some, you know, like one inch blocks under there. Uh, so that way I know this is going to be the lowest it'll ever be. Uh, you'll also want to use the uh, <clears throat> deck adjusters on there and lower them as low as they can be. And then in the next vid, in the next piece here, you'll see that I went ahead and made the brackets. Um, I put 
brackets, I used, I used two inch angle iron again um, and brought it down from the uh, frame to where it was uh, like about a half an inch or an inch below uh, where the bolt would go in. And then I would weld that on there, drill the holes for the bolt that would go into the uh, deck height adjuster. Um, and then of course, you know, you can bolt that in. The next thing I'm gonna uh, talk about is, uh, in this new picture here, you can see a little bit more about the uh, brackets that I made to uh, go down to the uh, wheel adjuster for the deck. You can see uh, how I've got those set up. Um, I had to angle that just a little bit, again, just to make sure that deck is centered um, in uh, both left and right, and that there's room for the uh, battery box in the front and the back. Also in this picture, you can see that I've got the uh, battery box for the front um, already in there. You can see I used one inch angle iron uh, across the top, <clears throat> and then I uh, also used one inch angle iron going down <clears throat> and across. So <clears throat> totally using one inch angle iron. This is what I use for the back also, um, but I don't think there's a very good picture of that. I did forget one last thing, and on the next picture you'll see uh, that. Uh, you'll want to go ahead and put that adapter on the uh, mower uh, deck motor uh, and make sure you can get the blade on it. I went ahead and put the uh, just the uh, adapter on it and then put the blade on it and everything else so that way it's all taken care of. So you'll want to go ahead and get that done before you completely secure the deck to those brackets. The uh, next step you're going to want to do is um, I used uh, some more uh, of that two inch angle iron. I believe I made it about six inches long and I drilled some holes on the side and of course on the top of it. This would be so that I could adjust it on the side, uh, adjust it up and down. Uh, and then on the top of it, I drilled uh, the six holes to where I could mount those uh, uh, wheelchair motors on it. So you want to, and again, so you want to emphasize to make those holes adjustable on the side uh, so that bracket can go up and down to adjust the uh, chain sprocket uh, tension on that. <clears throat> on this uh, next uh, picture here, you can see how I put the tire and the sprocket on. Again, this was all one piece that I ordered from Northern. The tire, wheel, and sprocket was all one piece. Um, on the uh, right-hand side there, you can see the uh, two inch angle iron that I brought down on the sides to uh, put the three quarter inch threaded uh, rod through. In this particular case, you can see I put two uh, three quarter inch nuts in there to space them out. Uh, that kind of looks a little tacky. I should have just got spacers and cut them down to make it look, look a little more professional, but hey, uh, that's what it is. So yeah, I think if I was you, I would definitely just get some three quarter inch spacer, you know, in lineal form and, and cut them down to that to make it look a little more professional. This picture isn't very uh, good picture, but I, I wanted to show you here what I was talking about at the uh, two uh, one inch square uh, bars that I had in the front. You can see here that I got those stacked on top of one another. Again, that's to bring the uh, 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 frame up a little bit so there's clearance for those uh, swivel wheels. The um, other thing I did here was um, on the top there, I ended up using plexiglass. Um, I kind of regret that now because I enclosed the whole thing with plexiglass and, and I ran into a couple different things here and there and of course cracked it. So, you know, my recommendation is to use something else, but yeah, that's what I use was plexiglass. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, I put a plexiglass across the top and then in the next one, you can see what I've done there. This picture doesn't really have a lot in it, just showing that I had to run a lot of wires and I, I tried to run them as neatly as I could possibly run them so that, and hide them away as much as possible. Um, but just to kind of show you, I've, I've done a pretty good job of hiding this. Okay, now to talk about this, 
Um, the top plexiglass that you saw a little bit ago, what I done here was actually I kind of cheated on this. I just used some uh, uh, wood pieces I had laying around for a box, you know, just to make it around there to enclose everything. Um, and then, of course, I drilled a hole through that plex uh, plexiglass, put a little rubber grommet, and then ran all my wires through there. Um, again, I have a wiring diagram that I've attached here at the bottom in the links, so uh, that should pretty well help you uh, get everything all wired. Uh, then on top of that, uh, you can see at the very top where I put some hinges, and then I just put another piece of plexiglass on top of that. At the very bottom right-hand corner, you can see where I drilled a hole through the side and put a toggle switch. And otherwise, that's pretty much all I've done uh, wiring-wise. And on this picture, you can see I added a, uh, a couple camera mounts. I've had two different cameras on here. Uh, one was a uh, was using a Raspberry Pi Pi camera. That's the bar looking thing there that you can see. Um, I just <clears throat> had the uh, Raspberry Pi inside the deck and then ran the uh, uh, <clears throat> ran the uh, wire ribbon out and out through there and then uh, I think I used Velcro to hold the uh, camera onto that bracket itself. The other one was a GPV, which was, you know, uh, was a, a little camera I had mounted there. And of course the other stuff was inside. So, you know, I've used both cameras. I, I guess I am kind of partial to the Raspberry Pi camera, uh, but you know, you, you can use whichever you want or both if you want. Okay, to wrap up, I just kind of wanted to say that uh, I, the last thing I did on here that you can probably see is I enclosed the uh, chain and the uh, sprocket off the wheelchair motor and also done some uh, plexiglass on the back and on the sides and stuff. Again, my recommendation is probably not to use plexiglass. Uh, I don't know. You can use some other products. Um, and, of course, you can make changes you want. I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys might have um, and help you as much as I can. As a matter of fact, uh, quite a bit of this was helped from online. The, the frame, actually, I made from uh, somebody else's idea that I saw uh, on some other YouTube video. So, you know, I, I sure thank them. And, and I have no problem sharing the information I've got. Again, uh, and, of course, if you would, hit like to this video and share as much as you want. Thank you.